Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. We are still going through low rule. We want to go into this cave because the other parts. We have to go. Oh, dire fate awaits those who approach the ice ruins atop the mountain's peak. We're going to the ice ruins. Which means we have to go through another fun. You know, we're going to pop in and out and get those hearts again. We're going to another fun, fun dungeon. A fungeon, as I like to call it. Take out those two cars, and we're gonna walk across this, which is, it's going to be another fun, fun puzzle like the other one. You can already see this one has some height, so we know we can merge into them if they come out of the wrong height to us. As shown. Issue is, I've got to make sure I line up the, the next part very closely. Oh, oh. Now then, we still have our fire rod out, which is going to be very beneficial against these guys. I wish I could have read that sign. That would have been nice. There is another boss in the center of here, so we're gonna we're gonna get all our energy back. Then get ready to take him out. Monster Guts. It is a monster. We want to head on that platform, though, preferably while it's still here. I find this one a little easier than the fire one because, I mean, you saw that second time we went through it, it was basically a jump until you land on the right spot. There wasn't a way to do it better that I've seen. So we head to the next platform. I'm going to get right over here because I can see something right there. Just a single heart and a nice place for monsters to attack me. I do not like this part of it though. Get our last rupee and it looks like we have made it to the summit. You see that was much easier, I didn't die like 12 times? What does this say? Who dares approach the dreaded ice ruins just up ahead? So we're going to instantly want to go over here because there's another weather vane. We have managed to get the, the uh, I think the last one up in here, and it's the ice ruins one. Uh, we don't want to save still. We want to get injured by that guy. We want to actually go around the back where we have another Mayamai waiting for us. See now, we have all but one in this area. Oh, come on. We're just gonna run. Because we still have one, there is a one unfortunate thing. Yeah, it's right down there. Which means there were other paths we could have taken. Let's head back down. Pile of skulls, pile of skulls. I don't need rupees, I, I just need hearts right now, game. I could have broke those two as well. Oh well. Three hearts. Yeah, that that should be enough. I bet you we could have probably just charged to do this entire part, but I doubt it. So, if you remember, we did have a point where um, we fought that big ice guy. Well, fought is a difficult way of phrasing that, because I just kind of, I flamed the ice guy, and he kind of just didn't have a way of defending himself. So we're heading back to there. There, he would have gotten another chance to get us. And we're actually looking for this, a platform right over here. Now, there were two exits we have to worry about. You need the tornado rod, interesting. 
this, you can turn a rare to up a level, and you're golden. I didn't actually expect us needing the Tornado Rod. But it is a perfect way to ascend a level for this. This is probably the higher of the two entrances. Though I will take either. Yeah. So we merge here. And we can get this treasure chest, which holds a gold rupee, 300 rupees. But we can just hop down and pick up a lost Maya Mai. Now then, we want to actually, we're going to fly back to the vacant house. We're just doing this so we can get to the other world. Um, I'm not too worried about actually what's in that cave. If I have to do it again, I have to do it again. Um, but we want to go to this world. Ooh, actually. Let's kill this red guy. Going through Death Mountain. And, oops, our next goal is the Eastern Palace. I hate just being stuck in general. It's like, aww. Which is the Dark Palace in the other world. However, uh, we can't get to it easily from here, so we've got to go and head as low as possible already. Nice little bomb area, but we're not worried about that right yet. We want to head right down here. And see, there is a crack right there. Ta da! Allowing us to get to the Dark Palace area. When we exit, Hilda will happily tell us, Welcome back to the Low Rural Kingdom, a truly evil place. Dark Palace has one of the sages. So we'll kill all three of these, and we are good to start. So we emerge on here and run the far way going as far as we can go, really. Look at all these rupees. Almost! I was hoping to pop out of the wall right next to it. Or sorry, right at it. But you hop over and ta-da! You gain a Maya Mai. Fairy Fountain? Great Fairy Fountain. Boo! I'd have much rather do a regular fairy fountain. So, nothing else really special here. We just gotta jump right onto an enemy on our way down. That's a plan. And we enter the Dark Palace area. If they find you, they will imprison you. All intruders must be captured. We must capture all intruders. So, it's not going to affect us too much. We are only after a few small pieces here. Uh, notably, a Maya Mai that should be hidden just around here. I thought it was... Yeah, there you are. And unfortunately, one right up next to the castle. Don't attack them, because I think they still can get you.
Often there's only one way to sneak around these sorts of people. So we'll sneak around this way, which is... Wait till they pass. And then cross again. I almost thought we were fine. So there's a one more Mayamai Maya real close to here. Um, well, mostly close to here. You can even hear it. So our goal is to just head on up. Across this beautiful path, and look at look at that beautiful heart right there. Not important, but here's the Mai Mai we're after in here. We got the lost Mai Mai. Do 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 do. -do. Three guys, all guarding the same area. Oh no, they caught us! It's a shame, really. Being caught gives us back out to basically the front area, I think. Oh no, it put us in the middle jail. That's no good. Let's head back. We actually want to leave this area. Can you catch us and put us further away? I know there's a few jails. And there, we've made it back out and we can escape the Dark Palace area now. First one gets us a Mai Mai. We're going to equip our net and catch a bee. Put it in a bottle. Now, if we take a look, there's only six left in this area. Um, not too, too many. I like how their divisions, it's no longer like the little lakes that it would have been early game. It's the fact that there's just literally a giant hole in the ground. I forgot to get this guy. This is why I always think there's so many in trees. But. Okay, there's a nice one chilling right on top of this rock. Okay, fine, I'll take your guts. And I'll take your guts. Oh, there is a portal here. Interesting. I don't think I'll need it, but it's good to know. I was gonna say, I'm literally right next to it. There's no way I can miss this. Now if you need to get back or forth, there's a perfect biofed. But we want to head all the way up because there's actually some water over here. And I think it's because it's actually the... Um, what's it called? Because it's actually the um, Zoro's Domain area, sort of. So they need some water. So. To say it, there should be one right under this waterfall. However, now we need to get out of this area. As you can see, oh well, there's no no good spot to do that right here. Except for just down here. I was gonna take that portal out, but now that I can just yeah, walk over through here, I don't need to take another portal. Emerge and run along this wall a rather large distance just to even get a chance to get out into the Zoro's domain area. Ta da! And there's a Maya Maya right on the edge of death. We're gonna hop down there, dive in, pick up the Maya Maya, and we're gonna swim ourselves away.
please spare my life. Here, I'll give you this, just leave me alone. Give this a blue rupee. Not quite yet. A red rupee. More, more. A purple rupee, I think, I think we'll... That's plenty. Alright, he gives us a little bit of money. If you keep pushing him, he gets really angry and tries to kill you. Um, so. I'm content with getting just that little bit. But we merge with this wall and we can walk. Across. Because isn't that what's really important? Unfortunately, yeah, we have to swim our way back over now because of that there's a small little crack and that little crack is just enough to make it unmanageable. So, in the next part we will have walked past this gap. And I will see you guys there.